All right, uh, let's look at the homework 3.4, uh, problem number two. All right, let's find the derivative of this function here. All right, so uh, we have uh, two things multiplied together, so we're going to use the product rule. So this is the first guy, and this is the second guy. All right, so we have uh, f prime of x is equal to, all right, let's take the derivative of the first guy. So we put 4 in front, keep the inside function as it is, and reduce the power by 1, and then multiply by the derivative of inside function, which is 2. All right? Then we have to multiply by the second guy, so x squared plus x plus 1 to the fifth power. And plus, right, first guy is quantity 2x minus 6 raised it to the fourth power. Then we take the derivative of that, so it's going to be a 5 in front. Uh, keep the same inside function, so x squared plus x plus 1. And then reduce the power by 1, so it's a fourth power. Then we multiply by derivative inside, which is a 2x uh, plus 1. All right. Then uh, we just need to uh, uh, clean it up a little bit. All right. So let's see if we have uh, here, we have uh, 2x minus 6 to the third power. All right. So we have uh, actually four of those. So I'm going to take uh, three of them. And they put it out here. So this is going to be uh, quantity 2x minus 6 raised it to the third power. All right, then what else do we have? So we have uh, x squared plus x plus 1 to the fifth power. There are four of them. So we can take uh, four of those. So we take those guys. So we have um quantity uh x squared plus x plus one raise it to the uh fourth power All right so we have that All right then we want to uh, uh pull out uh the leftover terms so we have let's see uh yeah so we're gonna pull pull out the leftover terms so here's going to be Right, so you have a 4 and 2, so it's going to be 8, and then, so maybe I'll combine those, so 4 and 2, that'll be 8, and distribute to those guys, so we have uh, 8x squared plus 8x plus 8, All right, so that takes care of uh, all those guys here, All right, then we have all right, so we have 2x minus 6 and the 2x plus 1. Maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and compute that separately. So you have a 2x minus 6 times 2x plus 1 would be, so it's going to be 2x times 2x. So you're going to have a 4x squared. All right, then you're going to have, let's see, these are 2x. And then we're going to have uh, negative uh, 12x. So it's going to be negative uh, 10x. And negative 6 times 1 would be negative 6. All right. Then we still have 5 sitting here. So we multiply by 5. So it's going to be plus uh, 20x squared minus 50 x minus uh, 5 times 6 is 30. All right. So we just need to clean this up a little bit further. So we're going to have uh, quantity 2x minus 6 cubed and x squared plus x plus 1 to the fourth power. Then we have, let's see, uh, collect the like terms. Uh, so we have uh, 8x squared 
and the 20x squared, and we have 28x squared. Then we have uh, 8x here, and a minus 50x, so it's going to be negative uh, 42x. And then uh, we have uh, 8 minus uh, 30, so it's going to be uh, minus uh, 22 there, all right? Then it uh, seems like uh, it's an uh, all uh, even number, so we can pull out the 2. And we have 2x minus 6 cubed uh, x squared plus x plus 1 to the fourth power. So we have, uh, so it's going to be 14x squared minus 21x uh, minus 11, All right? So let's type it in. All right, so what we got was uh, 2 uh, quantity uh, 2x minus 6 raised it to the third power. And then we have uh, x squared plus x plus 1 raised it to the fourth power and times 14x uh, squared minus 21x uh, minus 11. All right? So let's check the answer. All right, I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.